Alrighty, so it's day 38 on the CDT, and it is cold. Um, this is the first time, I think, on this trip I'll be sleeping above 12,000 feet. Um, there was uh, quite a, a long section that uh, got up to 12.6, and um, we were above 12,000 before that and after that. And I want to say we're above 12,000 for another, I don't know, two or three miles. So... Um, I stopped about 6.30 this evening because, as you can see above me, uh, there's some gray clouds, there's some precipitation going on over there, um, there's some wind, so I didn't want to be like cooking dinner and everything else at like 8 o'clock when it was freezing out. So uh, I set up my tent and um, kind of got my stuff stowed, and man when i got my stuff stowed i found out that one of my shoulder straps like the main shoulder strap on my pack is ripping away from the pack um like the pack the pack proper so uh i was trying to hike this trail as well as the pct and the Colorado trail with the same pack uh i don't i don't think i'm gonna be able to do it so basically what i'm gonna have to do is a, a field repair and it the stitch, because it's one of the primary straps, the stitching goes through some pretty thick stuff. I have a big needle, and the type of thread I have is upholstery thread. So if I can get the needle to press through that thick stuff, then it should hold. Um, my next town stop is Pagosa Springs, and they have a gear store. But, you know, I don't know what their selection is. I, um, I can't remember the name of it. I think it's like Ski and Bow or something like that, so I don't know if they're going to have packs. So essentially, I think what's going to have to happen is um, I was planning on breezing through Pagosa Springs for a resupply, but I may have to stay for a day and do some research on packs. And um, that's unfortunate because when I did research in um, Chama for new tents, uh, like I think it was MSR and one or two other companies were completely out, like out of stock of their one person tents. So I'm. Um, you know, it's not surprising. It's the beginning of the summer. There's some supply chain issues. So I'm really, really hoping that when I start looking for packs, I'm not going to run to the same situation where everything is sold out. Um, so yeah, not the best news. Um, it's actually not surprising that it happened today or I discovered it today. Um, it was... It was a hike. So when you got to Colorado, I think I mentioned the warnings were, hey, take 50% of whatever you're doing in New Mexico, and that's what you're going to be doing about in Colorado. So if you're doing 25 miles, you're going to do 12 to 13 miles in Colorado because of the snow and, and terrain. Um, the first day I hiked 24 miles. The second day I hiked 19 miles, and that first day actually included the 12-mile road walk. Um, today I was the first nine miles I was on a, uh, it was a traverse um, around a mountain and above a valley, and the traverse was, um, that I was on was, I think, the, e the east-facing side, which means that um, the snow is still present. Um, the north side and the east-facing sides are holding their snow. The west-facing and the south-facing, um, a lot of the snow is melted off. And so it took me about seven and a half hours to hike nine miles um, across that east facing slope that had all the snow. And I had traction and ice, my ice axe, and, um, and I was still sliding. So even though I, I tried to start early, um, the sun was up early also and uh, was hitting that snow, and the snow started melting. And um, even with my, my uh, micro spikes, I was still sliding a bit. So it was, it was a long, arduous morning and early afternoon. Um, I did take two big uh, bites, uh, meaning I fell. And so my guess is on one of those falls, that's when um, that shoulder strap probably pulled loose. Um, I think it's the right shoulder strap, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly. And that was on the downside of the slope. And so it would have taken all the force on both of those falls. So that's, that's likely why it happened. Um, 
So the total mileage for today was 14 miles and it, you know, that's the lowest day I've had in a long, long time. Um, but with regard to, you know, the amount of time it took me to get across those snow slopes, it's not surprising. So, uh, I'm not in a rush to get to Bogosa Springs because the, um, the gear shop is not open on Sundays, I believe. Um, I read that correctly. So, um, today's Saturday, there's no reason for me to run into town tomorrow and the, you know, the gear shop's closed. So what I think I'll do is, um, if I do some quick math in my head, uh, 43, 14, so that's 47, 57, so one, I have 21 miles left to get to town. And so what I'll probably do is, um, hike like, you know, try to get about 15 or 16 miles tomorrow and um that'll just give me five or six miles to hike in on monday morning and um then i can get into pagosa and the store will be open i can see if they have a selection of backpacks if not i can start doing research on packs and then um i can you know take a shower that kind of stuff so let's see i think trail wise um that's about it it uh it's colorado i mean we're here we're here early and even though the snow is melting fast we're here early so i'm i'm going i'm going to be curious to see what happens in the next week or two um these east facing slopes are taking time to get across so are the north facing slopes but i didn't i don't think i had any of those today um, both yesterday and today, I could look in the distance and I could see clouds dropping precipitation. Um, I've been lucky that it hasn't been over me, um, yet, you know, of last, um, three days, but the last two days I, I've, I've been able to see precipitation fall from clouds that are just over to like the next, the next range. So my hope is good weather holds tomorrow. And then I can hike the last few miles in on Monday um, and then kind of, you know, see what the comments are about the the sections after uh, Pagosa Springs heading into either uh, Silverton or Creed or, you know, whatever route people choose. Um, Colorado is just like New Mexico. There's many alternates that people can take. And so people can take the um, Creed cutoff, which cuts a, a bunch of miles off of the... Um, I don't want to say a bunch. It cuts some miles off of the the CDT proper. Um, people can swing up to Silverton. Um, it's just you know luck of getting getting a lift in. It, sorry, I got muscle spasms. Um, getting a lift into town. Um, I am actually having a resupply at Molas Lake. It's a campground that's um, on the Colorado Trail, the CT. And um, I like that section of the CT, so I wanted to hike it. So I was going to stay on the CDT proper and then do a, a I think, a, like 11 or 12 mile outshoot to Molas Campground or Molas Lake and then come back to the trail. And then I was actually going to jump into Creed, but not using the alternative. I was going to um, off the CDT where the Creed alternative um, or alternate m m meets the CDT. I'll just jump back into Creed and then come back out. So I'm taking a little bit of a longer roundabout way because it's Colorado and I, I like these areas. I've hiked them before and I want to see them again. Um, however, I don't know what the snow is going to be. So I might jump into Pagosa. I might start hiking towards, you know, Sil Silverton slash Molas Lake and discover that almost everyone is taking the Creed alternate and there could be boatloads of snow and I'm trying to make tracks this snow um, to get over to um, Molas Lake or Silverton. So um, I think it'll be interesting um, in Hoosie. So I'll, I'll let you folks uh, know what happens with, uh, you know, my pack and um, looking for a replacement um, because I definitely can't mess around with uh, the main strap in my pack. So uh, looks looks like I get to do some sewing tonight. Yeehaw. Uh, and it's going to be a cold night too because we're above 12. So uh, sewing in gloves, that that's always fun. Uh, so I'll let you all go and um, 
I think today's shout out is to safety. I had, uh, like I said, had two falls and um, I had a couple of questionable steps that could have ended, ended in injury. And even though I had my traction on and I had my ice axe and I was being as safe as I could, um, you know, stuff still happens. So I think um, shout out to being mindful about, you know, safety and, and making sure that um, you're still having fun, but you're not messing up your entire hike or uh, your entire plans just because of one, one bad mistake. So um, that's my shout out today and I hope everyone's well and I'll talk to you folks later. Um, have a great evening. Bye.